Now you can generate patterns from a prompt in Adobe Illustrator and use the Substance Suit to create quick product visualization shots. Just add the prompt, click Generate and watch the magic happen. You get three variations at once and you can save them to your swatches right away. I couldn't stop playing with this. All your previous patterns will be available with a click so you can apply them immediately. You can also save your swatches by saving them into an AI file so you can import them back into a new project. To import them, just click on Other Library and select a file to open. To create a seamless texture, open a new file and drag the pattern into the artboard. You will see that it will open all the unwanted elements, but you can locate the bounding box at the bottom of the layer stack and create a clipping mask out of it. Now we have the crop seamless texture. To scale it to the size of the artboard, go to Object, Artboard, then Fit to Selected Artboard. So now we have a seamless texture that we can use for example in Substance CD Sampler or Stager. Let's check out how we can use the seamless graphic texture we created with Adobe Illustrator Text to Vector. Go to Sampler and open a new file. Grab the denim material from the Starter Assets panel onto the previous sphere and voila, we have a jeans material as a base. Drag and drop the pattern to the top of the layer stack and set the output usage to base color. Now our material is ready, so you can send it to Painter or Stager immediately. I sent the materials to Stager and from the Project Materials panel I dropped it onto the Pillow model. In the Properties panel you can change the resolution and scale it the way you like it. Use the Sampler tool to copy the material to another model. You can also import the file directly as a base color. Now we have nicely textured products so we can add lights and cameras to create a quick product render. For close-ups I always set the material resolution higher and uh, use the depth of field to create the camera blur effect. After playing around with different materials for the ground plane, these are the final renders. 